Hey guys, Mike here and we're again with the Apple iPad Air and the Apple iPad 4. When Apple first released this new tablet of theirs, they said that the wireless performance is going to be much improved from the previous generation version. And that's because this new tablet uses a new antenna layout, it's called MIMO antennas, multiple input, multiple output, you'll find more details about this in the description down below. And because of this new approach, Apple says that it's going to be twice as fast as the iPad 4, their new iPad uh, Air is going to be twice as fast as the iPad 4 in Wi-Fi networks. So let's go ahead and actually test this. Uh, for that, uh, we're going to first open speed test and see uh, what's gonna happen with this. We're going to run these tests uh, one at a time. Both devices are connected to the same wireless network with router at about, let's say five feet. Uh, in the direct, uh, direct line without no obstacles in between. Okay, so that's what we got on the iPad Air. Let's see and uh, let's see what uh, what we're going to get on the iPad 4. Okay, so surprisingly, the iPad 4 got better download speeds but uh, worse upload speeds. Let me go ahead and restart this test because I think there's something wrong with it. Let's see what's gonna happen now. Okay, so all in all, pretty much the same speeds with both of these devices. Actually, based on this particular test, the iPad 4 is a little bit faster than the iPad Air. So this test doesn't prove anything. Uh, let's go ahead and run this other speed test uh, uh, benchmark and see, let's see if this is going to be any different. We selected, we selected a generic server somewhere in the US and let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, so once again, looks like the Apple iPad Air got uh, better results, but the differences are actually very small. So these tests don't really show us much. And because of that, we're going to try something else. Okay, for this part of the test, we're going to try something different. We're going to install VLC on these two devices. First of all, we're going to open it on the Apple iPad 4. Let me show you that. Okay, so we have it on the Apple iPad 4 and uh, we have a laptop here next to it and we're going to use this uh, this laptop to upload a certain file. We have a 70 MOV, 70p, uh, 70 megabytes uh, MOV file on, uh, this, uh, on this laptop and we're going to upload it to the iPad Air using this application and let's see how much, how long this is going to, to take. Okay, file transfer complete, about 24 seconds and now we should have this, uh, this file here and we should be able to play it. Yep, it works. Okay, and now let's do the exact same thing on the Apple iPad uh, 4. Let me go ahead and connect to the appropriate, appropriate server, which uh, okay, that doesn't have a touch screen. Okay, so this is the server on the Apple iPad 3, 4, sorry, on the Apple iPad 4. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, reset the timer and copy the same file. Okay, let's go. I'm curious to see if this is going to take uh, longer or not. Okay, so it doesn't say transfer complete, but I think it's completed, but either way it took like 37, 36 seconds, so definitely more than it took on the Apple iPad Air. And we should have the file here, we do, and uh, we can play it, but uh, yes, it really took uh, more uh, to transfer the file using this, uh, this method. 
uh, on the Apple iPad 4 than it took on the Apple iPad Air. So uh, based on this particular test, uh, the wireless performances on the Apple iPad Air are somewhat better than on the Apple iPad 4. But uh, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Let me know if you've tried this uh, on your own devices and uh, if you've seen any improvements, any differences between these two generations. And if you did, like I said, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, that's it for now, that was just a quick uh, clip. More details will be available later on on our channel about this Apple iPad Air, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon.